to this video tutorial series on learning how to code a Java program to solve the Sudoku number puzzle game. This series of videos are going to give you the ability to code along with me as I write a solution for solving Sudoku. If you're not familiar with Sudoku, you should probably go take a look at the Wikipedia page before beginning this series of tutorials. Basically, Sudoku is a crossword puzzle for numbers. You're given a nine by nine grid of squares and you have to complete the empty cells with each of the numbers one through nine. There are three constraints though. Each row in the Sudoku puzzle has to have each of the digits one through nine one time. Each column has to have each of the digits one through nine one time. And each of the three by three cells also has to have each of the numbers one through nine. This is a pretty challenging problem for humans to do by themselves and we're gonna implement a Java program to solve it for us. The algorithmic strategy that we're gonna use is called the backtracking solver. It's a recursive approach to completing a partially filled in board. The way the algorithm works is by considering each one of the empty cells in turn and trying to add an additional digit to it as if that is the correct solution. And then recursively trying to fill in the next cell and the next cell and the next cell until it, the program reaches a point at which it sees that one of those three constraints has been violated. And if one of those three constraints has been violated, it backtracks and takes back the last filled in cell that it potentially tried to fill in and fills it in with a different number. It continues this strategy until it's able to fill in all the empty cells with a number and that satisfies the Sudoku constraints. Technologically, what we're going to use in order to build out the solution is we're going to be creating a native application. We're going to be writing it in Java, so it should work on Mac, Windows, and Linux platforms. We'll be using the Eclipse IDE, Integrated Development Environment. We'll be using, for a user interface library, we'll be using the OpenJFX, or the JavaFX user interface library. And we'll be doing it in a series of several different video tutorials broken down into the different um, architectural components of the solution. So great, I'm looking forward to coding. Come along with me, you'll see what a software developer thinks about as he or she is, in my case, he is thinking about writing the code. I'm also gonna be doing some JUnit testing along the way, and you can see how that's able to catch some bugs um, as I'm live coding. All right, let's see if we can get this thing done. Come along.